In this video, we will learn about the various applications of the theme solver in device and some of its advantages over its finite difference counterpart, FDE, in mode solutions. The theme solver, just like FDE, can be used to design passive waveguides, such as strip or rib waveguides, or optical fibers. However, the key application area of the theme solver is the simulation of active waveguides such as phase shifters or modulators. This includes electro-optic modulators where variations in the charge distribution are responsible for refractive index perturbations, thermo-optic phase modulators where the index perturbation comes from variation in the waveguide temperature, or other types of optical modulators, for example those where the refractive index is affected by an applied electric field through the franz keldysh effect. The FIM solver in device has important advantages over the FDE solver in mode solutions. It is fully integrated in the device design environment, which includes the charge, heat, and the GTD solvers. This makes it easier to perform multiphysics simulations because all of these solvers are in the same environment and all of them use a finite element mesh. For example, you can use the charge solver to calculate the charge variation of a depletion type PN phase shifter and model its optical properties in FIM, or you can use heat and FIM together to model a thermo-optic modulator. You can even perform a coupled electrothermal simulation using charge and heat for an injection type electro-optic modulator where both charge variation and joule heating play a role in the optical performance, and then get the optical modeling done with FIM, all inside device. The other advantages of FIM come from its finite element mesh, which is more efficient for modeling complex geometries with curved surfaces. Also, the higher order basis functions in FIM offer faster convergence compared to FDE as the simulation mesh gets refined. 